since the French colonial time until American war in Vietnam and then to the modern time today. It changed very quickly and so fast. For foreigners, when they just come to Saigon, Saigon is like the melting pot. Most of the building, architectures, places are new, quite modern. It looks very modern. But somewhere, some old or ancient building still exist. When you come to a specific temple, pagoda, palace, designed by Vietnamese people, you can see the appearance of Yin Yang philosophy appear very strongly. The balance of two opposite characteristics appear in every field in our life. The history of Saigon was just about 300 years ago, and Zadig is the second name of this city. In the 18th and 19th century, Le Van Duyet was appointed to be the leader, keep control of Zadig Citadel. He had the big contribution for the establishment and the development of Zadig at that time. And that is the reason why the people appreciated and respected him. Before the invasion of the French colonial government, the place where we are sitting here is right in the center of Zadig Citadel. After the attack, the French decided to tear down and destroy the former Zadig Citadel to build two buildings to use as the military barracks. One belonged to the University of Social Sciences and Humanity, and the other building belonged to the University of Pharmacy. Today, that is the Fine Art Museum. But in the old time, this building used to be the private property belonged to one of the richest men in Saigon. The architecture during the French time is really consistent and beautiful. The interesting thing about Saigon is these ancient places. My name is Gao, but I have been living here for um, nearly 30 years, and now Saigon is my home. I invite you now to join me as I show you the history of Saigon through architecture and its people to tell the story about this city, Saigon.